Base launch checked and countdown net pad is clear. 10, 9, 8. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hey everyone, my name is Shiva Bharadvaj and I'm a space operations engineer here at SpaceX. And on your screen is a live view of our Falcon 9 rocket on, at Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida, set to lift off at 7.32 p.m. Eastern Time with Falcon our next batch of Starlink satellites. Now the teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicles or the spacecraft. Weather and the range are both green for launch and we're ready to support liftoff just under five minutes from now. Now to get ready for liftoff, we're standing by for retraction of the transporter erector. And we'll be seeing, we just heard a call out there for that. Keep an eye out on the clamp arms near the top of the second stage. There they've begun to open. Next, we'll begin to see that structure to the left of the vehicle begin to slowly pull away. That's known as strong back retraction. And there's a great shot of the full Falcon 9 at the very top two uh, flight-proven fairing halves carrying our 52 Starlink satellites. They're sitting on top of our second stage, and then below that, our first stage. Stage one, walks load complete. So with that call out at about T minus three minutes to liftoff, Falcon 9's first stage is fully loaded with both rocket propellant one and liquid oxygen. We'll hear a similar call out for completion of liquid oxygen load on the second stage that happens usually around T minus two minutes. Stage two locks throttle back. That last call out indicating we're coming up on completion of locks load on the second stage. And with that, we are completely loaded with propellants on both the first and second stages. That's about a million pounds of both fuel and liquid oxygen. Right, You'll see a little bit of venting here. Uh, that's normal as we clear out the lines in the strong back. And just noting here that the booster on your screen is flying for its fourth time today, having previously flown the SES-22 and two previous Starlink missions. We will be attempting to recover this booster 
uh, after liftoff and stage separation on our drone ship named a shortfall of Gravitas. And you can see it out there on the Atlantic Ocean. Falcon 9 is in startup. LD, go for launch. And with that, we're on our way to liftoff just under 40 seconds from now. T-minus 30 seconds. Successful liftoff of our Starlink satellites on our Falcon 9 vehicle. Power and telemetry nominal. From Space Launch Complex 40, lifting off at 7.32 p.m. Eastern Time. Falcon 9 is supersonic. So with that call, we have Falcon 9 now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Seen a great shot of the engines on the first stage. Next cue. And that call out there indicating we are through the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, the highest stresses that the vehicle will feel during ascent. Now coming up in about a minute, we'll have three events happening back to back. The first of those is main engine cutoff, where we'll shut down all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage followed by stage separation, and then second engine start on the second stage. great view of the first stage there. Now we're looking up at the second stage. And Miko. Stage separation. Invac ignition. Fantastic. So main engine cutoff, stage separation, and Merlin vacuum confirmed. start. And there was fairing deploy as well. You can see those fairing halves on the left-hand side of your screen, as well as the grid fins on the first stage deploying. Now we will be attempting to recover both of those fairing halves. Both of them are... Both of them are for their fifth and fourth flights. We just had a glimpse there of the sun reflecting off those fairing halves. There you can see the fairing halves reflecting some sunlight as we're heading up to orbit. Left-hand dot is the engine on the Merlin vacuum. I believe the middle object is our first stage, and then the fairing halves around it.
seeing some periodic nitrogen gas bursts on our first stage as it's reorienting on a normal trajectory. for its next major activity, which will be the entry burn. And on the right-hand side of your screen, we've got our Merlin vacuum engine continuing to burn as it's taking our 52 Starlink satellites to orbit. Today's mission does mark SpaceX's 181st launch overall. The, Acquisition of signal Bermuda. the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen has previously supported three missions, SES-22 and two previous Starlink missions, today marking its fourth. And you can see that its speed and altitude are fairly stable. It's arcing its way back to planet Earth to attempt a landing. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can actually see the curvature of planet Earth behind our Merlin vacuum engine. Now, as a reminder, we are flying Starlink satellites today, and Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed and low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. We are currently live in 47 markets around the world. You can see the sunlight reflecting off our first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Its next major activity coming up, that'll be the start of its entry burn to prepare it for atmospheric re-entry and slow down. Stage one entry burn startup. So for this burn, we are igniting three of the Merlin engines, which helps slow down the first stage. Stage one entry burn shut down. As we start stage hitting the top. As we start hitting the top of the Earth's atmosphere. Now from here on, we've got enough atmospheric force where those grid fins that we saw deploy earlier will help guide the first stage towards our drone ship. Stage two, FTS is saved. Second stage burn continues to look nominal. The second stage will continue to burn until the point uh, right around the time where the first stage will be landing. That'll be about T plus 8 minutes and 30 or so seconds. Stage 1 transonic. With that, the first stage is transitioning through the speed of sound. And its next major activity will be the landing burn. Stage two is a thermal guide. Stage one landing burn. Startup of just a single Merlin vacuum engine. We'll see landing leg deploy as well shortly. And also keep an ear out here for second stage engine stage cutoff. Stage one landing leg deploy. Pico. 
Stage one landing confirmed. So with those two call-outs and a great shot from the drone ship, we've got confirmation of our second stage in the nominal orbit. And our first stage, Falcon 9, has landed, orbit, marking the 143rd landing of an orbital class rocket. This marks our 43rd launch of 2022. And there were a couple of callouts there as well for nominal orbit insertion. So that means that the second stage is right where we want it to be, carrying those 52 Starlink satellites. So with all of those confirmations, we're going to wrap up our launch coverage. If you're interested in following along, we'll have our nets live on YouTube. And be sure to check out our social media accounts for confirmation of Starlink deploy. Thanks a bunch for joining us this weekend, and we'll see you again real soon.